Hello everyone. So now I'm going to share my next assignment to use calculated columns to create a data model of house prices. Okay. So here uh, I need to create one Power BI report and I am provided by these two tables, house price data and the property types. So this data is about the house price sales for the UK for 2015 and 2016 year. Then I need to go to the query editor and then use first property types row as a header row. Then create a relationship to get something like this. Okay. I will show you in the Power BI desktop. Uh, after that, I need to hide tables and columns and create lots of calculated columns to get your field like list looking like this. Okay. So I need to create the measures, new columns uh, to my fields pane looking like this. Then uh, I need to uh, add uh, DAX queries to create this completion year desirability cells band and types of property these all columns. So completion year is nothing but the year each property cell was completed. Okay. And then desirability should be if the property is either a new build or a freehold. This should show as desirable or otherwise it should show not desirable. Next one the sales bank for properties costing up to 200k this should show affordable for properties between 200k to 500k this should show not too bad uh, the uh, for properties between 500k to 1000k this should show expensive otherwise this should show a um, millionaire mansion okay the next one is the type of property this should show the description from the property type table Okay, so let's move towards the Power BI desktop and I will show you the data. So these all are the uh, columns I have in this data, house price data. So I I, I have uh, hided this call, a completion date, postcode, property type. Uh, so I need to hide as per my problem statement. So from uh, here, we can able to hide any column which we want to hide. So I have hided this completion date. Uh, if new build, if freehold, postcode, okay. Then uh, I need to create one relationship between these two tables. So I have did this type and the uh, from here the property type, okay. Uh, we can we can do relationship for from property type and joining the property type and type. Then next uh, is the uh, we have to create this columns okay so go to the here we can uh, go to the how we create this is go to the uh, go to the home tab take a new column okay from here take a new column then we need to write this tax query as completion year equals to year of completion date from here we can take the completion year so our this column is created next is the desirability so if house price september 2016 is the table name if new build this column is having y and if freehold is having f it is showing the desirable and the uh, this uh, if this is not uh, uh, not true then we need to specify as not desirable okay and the next one is the sales band so in this, as we uh, see in our problem statement, we need to create a sales band uh, column. Uh, then uh, sales band equals to switch true. Sales price is less than 200K is affordable. Sales price is less than 500K is not too bad. Sales price is uh, less than 1000K is uh, expensive. And uh, other than uh, other than this, the mainly earner mansion, okay? So we can see here by using this sales price we can specify this not too bad millionaire mansion expensive and so on okay we can see here the two types are created desirable and non-desirable okay? and then this is the type of property so uh, we have the uh, we have the another table property types here is the description given so um I need to sp uh, specify the type of property. So type of property was related property types uh, in the table name and the description is the 
column present there okay so here we can see the type of property detached flat or the semi terraced okay then next we move towards the report so uh, the main thing is uh, creating the uh, columns uh, by using dash in this uh, assignment okay so here also we can see that how we uh, how we created that column we are able to see the dax query here also okay by clicking on the fields so this is the matrix okay then uh, this uh, these are the cells band that we have created uh, i use this as a rows header and the and the second is the column header is the type of property so detached flat or the semi and as these all are the types of uh, property as we shown before as we see before, okay these are this is the total of that and in values the count of location i have taken the location count okay so we can see uh, here affordable you know detached type in four to four six locations okay we can understand the data like this okay we can do the filter on any if we want to see the data for this affordable detached is four to four six uh, affordable flat is one one zero three zero the other is one zero eight and the total okay so as i show as i shown you we can do the uh we can create new columns and do some visuals uh visualization on that okay thanks for watching my video